in news and drive time. Thank you all for your texts and tweets coming through here. The Bangra Show here till 7 o'clock. Then we go for the Golden Oldies right here on News Hand Big 92 FM. Chaz Boy, it's a Bangra Show. I believe we finally tracked him down now. I know he's a very busy man. Before we go any further, we're going live online. Bally Segu, are you there? Hey, Chaz Boy, good day. What's happening, bro? Good, bro, good, bro. How you doing? Yeah, good to hear from you. I know you're busy, bro, so thanks for taking time out for New Sound. Anytime, brother, man, anytime. So tell me all about it. There's a big boom going on at this moment in time. Bally Sagu is back. Yeah, I'm back with a new album, obviously, Future Shock, which came out yesterday, last night, so today's the first day. And, uh, yeah, it's going well. I'm doing the whole radio tour up and down the country, meeting all the different people and the channels and the stations. But it's going good. Of course. It's all a bit of fun, though, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, it's got to be done, you know. It's been uh, it's been a while since I was around here. It's been, uh, it's been crazy kind of seeing all these people again after so long. Totally, I can believe it. Now, I mean, we haven't spoken for some time now. I still remember yeah. back in the days, we had projects like Wham Bam, Star Crazy, yeah. you know. How's yeah, this man, different to the that? Days, how's, how's, yeah, it, I mean, how's the new one different to that? Well, the new album, obviously, is, uh, it's got brand new tracks on there. It's got Punjabi and Hindi on there. And also, musically, right, there's a lot of different diverse sounds on there. You know, you've got some hard Punjabi Pangra songs on there, but you've also got the dancey stuff, you've got the club stuff, yeah. nice chill out, chill out tracks as well, but in a Punjabi style also. And then... Uh, Obviously, you know, I mean, all different types of things I've been working on for some time. Future Shock is something that I've been working on mm -hmm. for quite a few years. And now we put the album together, you know, it's got like 15 tracks on there. And uh, there's a lot more coming through as well, man. We've got more songs that we're going to be releasing. Cool. I mean, listeners are texting in at this moment in time saying, why the, why the gap? Why have we not heard from you for some time? Well, firstly, I mean, I'm more or less based in India nowadays, and uh, I've not been working on my own stuff for some, some, some time now, you know? Right. Because my last album came out, it was obviously Hanji, Bodhan Shrabia. That's and right. And since then, I've been doing other things, not my own music, but other stuff. So since then, now I've obviously got a base in India, I've got a pretty much settled in India, Mumbai, got my studio out there, so cool. I'm working on other projects, but right now, obviously, i got to put some more time into my own stuff right now, and so that's what Future Shock is there. Totally. How's the music scene all going in Mumbai at the moment? The last time I was there, it was a bit crazy, man. Oh, man, you know, I keep saying this, man. The music scene in India is just crazy, you know, it's just <laughs> mad. It's, they're, they're a lot more ahead of us, you know, as in the UK, man. They're doing a lot more crazier stuff. There's some oh, great man. DJs out there. There's some good producers out there, totally. and it's not, and it's not just about Bangla, you know. I mean, in this country, it's still more and more about the Bangla here. I mean, compared to the UK, like you said, they're a bit of ahead of us. Look at the UK music scene. I mean, from what you was doing before to what you're doing now, how have you seen the music market change in the UK? Well, the scene's obviously changed a lot now, man. I mean, you you got a lot, lot more people like trying to make music. You got a lot of DJs now. In fact, there's too many, sure. and then you got very few producers. There's more DJs, there's, there's very little producers. That's the, that's the big thing here. And also, you know, people are kind of like still messing around with the same tracks or same singers all the time. They're not working with different different people all the time, you know. And uh, whenever any Indian guy comes over from India, they kind of rinse his songs out, man. And <laughs> everyone gets him to sing on everyone's albums. And uh, that's yeah. not really the best thing to do, you know. And, you know? Sure. I mean, I mean, you cornered the market at the right time when you, you released your first album. That's something that needs to be redone again, don't you think so? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, people don't realize that half of the stuff that I've, I've done way back in the days, um, there was not the famous YouTubes and videos and the radio stations sure. and la da 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 you know, all this Facebook business and totally. all. There was, this kind of stuff wasn't around, and it was more about the music and the quality of what you put out. Now, really more so, people are spending more time on their video, and they're spending less time on their album. I mean, take, for example, Cheshire Cat. The platform was Bally Sagu for him, you know? Yeah, of course, man. Absolutely. So, you know, he's, he's got a future out of that. You been uh, launching anyone else on your albums? Yeah, man. I mean, there's lots of new people on this album, man. I mean, obviously, the track you're playing now in the background, right. that's a new guy from Punjab. His name is Harry Mirza. Fantastic vocalist, man. And again, a breath of fresh air on the UK scene. A lot of the singers on the album are new, you know? So, you got girls on there. Cool. Hardly anyone in the UK records with females. If they do, it's the same singer. Wow. So, you know, there's all different names of different people on the album, man. And, uh, and there's more people that I'm working with that are hopefully going to come through more, you know, real soon. You finding it harder to put your ideas together now compared to the market? What's going on? No, because what I'm, what I'm more concentrating on is what I've always done, and that's music for overseas as well, you know? I mean, people in this country normally make music for this country. Sure. You know, they're not making music for a global market, you know? I mean, there's, there are a few people, obviously, that are doing it, but most of them are making it for, I don't know, maybe get wedding bookings, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh, totally. Totally. So, yeah, go for something different, a new flavour. Yeah, definitely, man. Obviously, you know, new flavour, new, new sounds, and also, 
not the same type of a melody, you know, not the same type of music patterns on the same on, on every song. Sure. I mean, going back in the days, Bal, when you first started off the music scene, what made you go, get, get into it? Why did you go into it? Something you wanted to do, or...? No, because obviously I was doing it from school days, man. I was making music from school days, and then the Indian music scene just wasn't there. And that's why I thought, okay, let me sort of change the scene and collaborate with my American Western sounds, English sounds, and obviously make the Indian music more Western. And then I stumbled onto something, and then not just for this country, the America, Canada scene was born from there, and then, then I, tra I started traveling around the world. Sure. And then I started doing a lot, a lot more shows around the world. And then since then, obviously, I've worked with some fantastic vocalists, man. And I still enjoy working with new singers more than anything else. That gives me the best, best buzz, you know, when I work with somebody that's new and fresh. And, you know, there's not a lot of people that take that chance with new singers. Cool. Any plans for the future, Bo? What, we could, what could we expect from you in future? Well, loads, man. I mean, we've got new material we're working with. I'm looking forward to working with some UK talent now, man, because everyone's asking me, them, you know, everyone like yourself has said, Brett, where you been, bro? You know, sure. you need to get back on the scene, man. La -di -da -di -da. I'm like, well, I'm sorry I've been gone. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I've got some great plans to work with some UK people, but at the same time, we're doing some film stuff. We're doing some English, American stuff as well. Wow. And uh, I've got a lot more tracks that I've recorded, so I'll be, you know, releasing them again real soon as well. But right now, it's all about Future Shock, the new album, out on the new label, Fresh Dog Records, the new website, ballysigumusic.com. Facebook, Twitter is the same, ballysigumusic, that's the handle. So people can reach out to us, man. And we will be looking forward to that, dude. Yeah, and then tomorrow we've got the launch party happening at Kensington Close Hotel, man. That's going to be my launch party. I'm looking forward to having a lot of people there. There's a lot of industry people coming down, man. It's going to be a really, really good night, man. I'm really, really excited about it, man. And in fact, everyone's calling up about the tomorrow night's party, man. And I'm like, whoa, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, man. I'm overwhelmed. Listen, the Bally Segu band is still flying, bro. Yeah, and you're coming, yeah? We're definitely going to be there. New Sound Radio is going to be down there, mate. Excellent, man. I'll have the Galafi ready for you, man. Yeah, listen, you've been on me that for a few years now. I'm still waiting for it, you know? <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. Listen, Bally, I'm going to let you go. I know you're very busy, dude. Thanks for coming right, online. Well, and a quick message to all our listeners from Bally Segu. Yeah, I just want to say a big up to all the listeners and all the people that are constantly just saying, wow, about time, man, about time, about time. So really, really nice. And make sure you check out Future Shark. Officially download it now on iTunes and so on. And uh, if you got, even if you can come tomorrow night to the Kensington Close Hotel, come down, man. It's going to be a nice launch party. And we're going to, we've got a lot of people coming down, man. It's going to be a nice night, man. Wishing you the best luck, Bal. It's always a pleasure Thanks, to talk bro. to you, dude. And uh, hopefully you we'll link up very soon. Yeah, for sure, guys. Take care, dude. Thanks a lot. Take care, bye. Live online drive time show. Funny how people can still remember you. Bally Segu, after so many years, good to hear from him again on the drive time show. Watch out for his new album. More information, you can check out his website, Twitter, Facebook. Dropping the new track one more time on New Sound 92 FM.